In this module, we rounded out some content-related aspects that took us past standard restructured text. First, we added a custom style sheet to the project and used it to control table width. Then we added the capability to include markdown files in the project. And finally, we looked at supporting different versions of the documentation. If the already reviewed solution of public read the docs hosting and GitHub works for you, then you can go forth and create or contribute to documentation with my full endorsement. But if you want to explore alternative hosting options for either the source docs or the documentation website, or even both, then join me in the next module where we'll have a look at these topics.